I'm sure you've received emails like, I'm delighted to let you know that you've been selected for uh, something that sounds just like, congratulations on your success in. Definitely that is good news and, you know, smiles and shouts of joy will most likely come next after reading such emails not to talk about when you have been waiting on god for such a long period for a breakthrough but what happens after a long and seemingly unending period of waiting with no proof to show with no congratulations with no i'm delighted to let you know what if it looks like the waiting process will never come to an end Will you stop trusting and serving God? Hello again and welcome to another episode of Open Life Podcast. My name means Comfort Ola Dayo and Adegbenu. And the title of today's podcast is What If It Doesn't? So do stay tuned. So welcome back and um, like I said, today's podcast is about staying true to God and staying true to him even if he doesn't show up so picking up from the statement even if he doesn't show up do you really think god will not show up and um the bible story that comes to mind at this point is about the three hebrew boys and nebuchadnezzar in the book of daniel chapter 3 and verse 16 to 18 the new king james version says shadrach meshach and abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up we all know how this story ended god definitely went above and beyond to prove himself faithful to these three hebrew boys and the truth is when we're thinking about will god show up god will always come to our rescue if we wait on him patiently it might take time especially if it is the will of god for us to pass through this situation for example Abraham and Sarah waited for approximately 25 years I probably would assume it was more because I think Abraham was already married before God called him to leave his homeland but then in the end Isaac the promised child came what if God doesn't show up to deliver us I really do think that our focus should not be on whether God shows up or not because of a truth God is going to show up but our focus should rather be on what if we give up during the period of waiting that sounds really scary because it could just be one day 11 hours even few minutes to your breakthrough so what if we give up during the period of waiting but God forbids. I believe the process of waiting is very important in building us and preparing us for the blessings that we are about to receive. So sometimes it's not just about the blessings. The period of waiting makes us to be equipped for us to be able to, you know, undo that blessing when the blessing finally comes. In the book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, it says in the amplified version we are assured and know that god being a partner in their labor all things work together and are fitting into a plan for good to and for those who love god and are called according to his design and purpose the question is do you love god have you been called to god's design and to god's purpose if yes then you should stay rest assured because all things are working and are fitting into a plan. You know, I understand that sometimes serving God could be hard. 
we know that serving God is a command, but do we find joy in our service to Him? That's a food for thought. How eager are you, how eager am I to be in God's presence when all heart seems to be against us? Just like the three Hebrew boys, let us pledge our allegiance to Christ and serve Him in the good times and also in the bad times. God doesn't protect us or love us seasonally. He loves us at all times when we are in the wrong and when we are doing things right. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5, the later part of that verse is, For he, that is God himself, has said, I will not in any way fail you nor give up on you nor leave you without support. I will not, I will not, I will not in any degree leave you helpless nor forsake nor let you down. That is, relax my hold on you assuredly not. That is God's promise towards us. It means when God says, I will not, he didn't even give a condition of or whether you do right or whether you don't do right. We are sure that God will always be for us, always be by our side. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, B also says, But God is faithful to his word and to his compassionate nature that he can be trusted not to let you be tempted and tried and has said beyond your ability and strength of resistance and power to endure. But with the temptation, he will always provide a way out, the means of escape to a landing place that you may be capable and strong and powerful to bear up under it patiently. I believe that whatever you are facing now, it might look like God is not going to deliver you from it, but Bible tells us and assures us that God will not allow us to be tried beyond what we are capable of. He will not allow us to be tried beyond our ability and strength of resistance. He will not allow us to be tried beyond our power to endure. And in every of this trial, He will always provide a way of escape so that in the midst of it, we are capable and we are strong enough to be up and die patiently. God has therefore assured us that he won't give up on us. So what about you and I? Are we committed to representing God when it seems like he is not showing up? As you start this new week, think about why you serve God. Are you serving God for your needs or are you serving God out of true reverence for him? I want you to constantly remind yourself also of the gift of salvation and how God has stayed by you. And as you, you know, remember these things and put on them, rejoice, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice in the Lord. Now I want you to pray this prayer with me saying, thank you, Lord, for being true and faithful. Renew my hope in waiting periods and help me trust you in all situations. Thank you, Lord, for being true and faithful. Renew my hope in waiting periods and help me trust you in all situations. Amen. The song of the week I'll be leaving you with is Waited by Travis Green. Even as you are in this period where it seems like God is not showing up on you, instead of mourning, instead of being sad, why not rejoice and think of and remember how God has saved you, how he has brought you and delivered you from all forms of destructions previously and give your thanks and offer your praise to him. Do remain blessed until we meet. Do stay comforted. Have a blessed week. Bye. Yeah. This